Hi, everyone, and welcome again to another quick uh, tip training from workwithliz.com, and this is also for my Accountability Club members. Uh, again, as a club member, I help you set up your blog and help you get everything going and um, help you and coach you along the way with your business. So if you haven't been there, that is my Accountability Club, and this is Quick Tips from Work With Liz. And again, I'm Liz Pratt, and um, the two things we're going to be using today are GoDaddy, and our host gator and here's the two links um, hopefully you can see them maybe I should make them a little bigger for you guys let's see if I can do that really quickly so you can see them and you can get the those two things set up you probably have already got those set up if you're on this video but just in case here's where you want to be um, godaddy.workwithliz.com and the second link is host.workwithliz.com I'm gonna take you over there right now and show you here we are under GoDaddy so when you get to GoDaddy you want to log in and you do that under manage my products or go to your account settings and and log in you want to go to your domains which is where I'm at if you click on the manage button or the domains you'll be at your domain and here I am at my domains and I have a whole bunch of them if you've just bought your first one you will only have your first one on there and you want to open up another tab so you can be on your GoDaddy at the same time. If you don't know how to do that, click your File button, New Tab, and open up another tab so you can be on your HostGator account. You'll also want to log into your HostGator, and they should have emailed you that, how you log in. And normally that is yourname.com slash cpanel. So it would be your name, whatever your website name is, dot com slash C, C like cat, panel, P-A-N-E-L, C panel, and that should be it. Just um, So mine is workwithliz.com slash C panel, and that's where we're at right now. I logged in with my username and password. Now to know how to do your name servers, you need to scroll down when you're in this back panel, and... And you can see I have the account with HostGator, the one I tell you and I recommend if you're going through my program, with the unlimited subdomains. You can see unlimited add-on domains, unlimited park domains. And I believe I pay um, $9 or $10 a month for this. And I have all the unlimited email accounts, FTP accounts, SQL databases. So that's why I recommend don't get the $5 account. Spend the extra $5 a month. Get Go up to the, or even I think there's a $7.95 account that gives you unlimited everything with HostGator. Um, and when we go into setting up the blog, you're going to see why I want you to have that one. But um, when you set up your blog, it's as easily, you can have as many domains and we can easily set up your blogs with one click. And we'll be showing you that one later. But for now, I'm going to show you just simply how you get that domain name um, that you bought at GoDaddy to work now at your HostGator account. So keep scrolling down and you can see what package I have here. It says I have the baby croc, my server name, Gator. Um, now these are my NS um, name servers and this is what you're going to need for your account at GoDaddy so write those down you can see mine here is ns1647hostgator.com ns1648.hostgator.com and I'm going to need those I wrote those down so we have them now we're gonna go back over now remember yours are gonna be different yours will not be the same as mine so don't just write down the ones we said make sure you look at yours we're gonna go back over to the account at GoDaddy back to your domain and you're gonna to go to the advanced details and click on that uh, computers being a little slow but that should come up any second and you'll see this one I'm just using this one Eric and Liz as an example and I hope to set a blog up on this soon as pretty soon under this name so you can actually see how a blog is set up so you can see kind of what I'm doing for my business um, and I have about 27 domain names, so I have a lot of blogs going and different things going on, but this is one I, I actually bought for when we got married, so it's a few years old. Um, as you can see, it says registered 2008, and it gives you some of the information about it, um, but um, so it's pretty old. I haven't used it for business, but I thought since I own it, I should let it at least have a squeeze page or something and get it making us a little bit of money so I'm gonna do that for you guys coming up soon so here we are at how to set the name servers. so you click on this button right here set name servers and it's going to come up with the one it's currently set at and what we need to do is we need to change it 
to the ones I just had said earlier. So NS1647 dot hostgator dot com. And this one here is NS. And I believe um, Hostgator even has training on this in their training area if you look. So if my training here doesn't make sense, you can always email me, but another place to look would be in the Hostgator. Then we simply click OK. And now the name servers are going to be changed. My changes have been submitted. It's going to take a few minutes to t take effect. So there we go. We have that all set up. And now we want to go back over to our Hostgator. And if this is your main account, um, for example, with workwithliz.com, it would start showing on, on there under the HostGator. If this is a different domain name, like I said, I have many different domain names with hosting. If this is a, another domain that you bought, but you want it to show up under one that you currently have, you then have to go to your add-on domains. and add it on here. So um, the domain that I just added is Eric and Liz dot com. Okay. And um, it sets that all up for me. And I need to set a password for this account also. So I can make sure I log into it. And we've added that domain now under my add-on domain. So now it will show from GoDaddy. It will start showing now under my HostGator account. So it's that simple. Um, I hope I made that quick and easy and I didn't confuse you too much. And if this is your first one, you may need a little help. And just email me. And I look forward to helping you get this all set up and get your business going. Have a great day.